Okay, so far this week, I've changed the camera angle. I, I made a tilt shift effect, and I also made a little inventory system. The tilt shift effect, I'm, I'm happy with. I'm going to stay with it for now. I'm going to alter it here and there, try to get the perfect um, angles. I haven't made the, the level yet, so I don't know. I don't know how good the tilt shift effect is yet. My inventory system, on the other hand, I'm happy with. It's the one I wanted, but I'm finding it very hard to progress with it. There's other things I want in an inventory system that might not work with what I have now. And that's the two things I worked on this week. I changed the field of view. I changed the camera angle. I added a tilt shift effect. And I also made an inventory system. And I was and I put weapon meshes down. The weapon meshes have no functions yet. They're not, they look like weapons, but they're not weapons. You, I just put them in the game, put them in the map to know if the code of the infantry system's working. So I can pick them up and I can drop them. I can rotate them. Okay, let's just jump into it and I'll show you what I've done. So let's press play. First thing, I'll show you the tilt shift effect. Um, I made it that it's not just zoomed out. Everything is blurry. Well, not everything's blurry, but the distance is blurry. The closer... The camera is to something it's blurry as you can see the floor before me is blurry and the floor behind me is blurry which gives you this effect that it helps you with the effect of everything's being little the last video was just a normal third person template and this one is the tilt shift effect that i added as i'm saying on the border you can it, i actually generally look little I, it just doesn't look zoomed out and now for the inventory system, I made it that if I press tab, the grid comes out. So this is my inventory system. I'm finding it very hard to write code to make a vicinity that works with the inventory system. I don't know how to do it. So I'm thinking about just purchasing a system that's already done, made, and I just purchased the blueprints off the marketplace. That's all that's already made for me in the future. If I don't like the system and I want to make my own, I'll just switch back. Doesn't matter. Get the system up, boom, and it's in the system. I made it that it's always going to snap. When when you pick up an item, I'll, like I'll drop it again. When you pick up an item, it's always going to go to your top left square. You know, just walk over to the rifle. It snaps to the top left always. You can rotate it. It shows green. It shows green when you can snap it to your square. And it shows up red when... You can't. And if you can't put it somewhere, it's just going to snap it to the first available spot. That's the highest to the top, the top and the left of the screen. Look, I'll show you. If I pick up the grenade, the grenade's going to go there. But if I, um, if I drop the gun and I go to this grenade, see how it's on the top right, and I make it go red, it's going to go to the top left. Pick up the rifle, rotate it, put it here. Grenade, rotate that too. Pick up the meat cleaver. Boom. Rotate that too. It's always going to go to the best available spot. That's the top, which is the highest row it can get. And it's always going to go to the closest to the left it can get. So if I move that there, put the grenade there, put that there, put that there. So if I, want, if I go to move the grenade and it goes red like that, it's going to go to these four squares here. Like that, boom. I can't go through all the code um, because it's it's just so hard to explain. I like I just can't explain it. And if you want to change the grid, you can change. I think I have it to like twenty down and like ten across, if I remember. Look, I'll show you that now. So you want to go? I put in my third person, if I remember. Um, and I have it in my inventory component. Yeah, column, so that's 10 across, 10 columns across. So if I lower that down to five, and if I lower this down to 10, and compile and save, as you can see that this infantry system is a lot smaller now. And the weapons, like I, I, I won't even be able to rotate it because it won't fit anymore. Pick up the grenade. Pick up the meat cleaver. You know? It, like, it wouldn't even fit here. I would have to rotate it like that. And I go through a little bit of the code. I'm, I can't explain exactly what it does. But I'll show you. 
This is the tilt shift effect. If you want the tilt shift effect, this is it here. You get the camera boom, you get the target arm length, you know, you get your settings. This here does your blurriness. So if I do the blurriness, the lower the blurriness, the higher, the, no, the lower the number, the higher the blurriness. So if two, I don't play at two. So if I put it to six, this is the type of blurriness I want. I want it around a six, you know, so I compile that, save. This is the blurriness I want. See how not everything is extremely blurry as it was before. You can actually you can actually see the items. You can see the tree, but in the top corner of the screen, it's slightly blurry. Like the those those cubes, the further they are, the more blurry it is. This is the type of blurriness I want. The shade, me saying in the shade, I look little. You know? I'm in a little world here. I'm on a little planet and you're and you get a microscope and you're watching me. I just don't look zoomed out. I generally look little. And that's that's the effect I want to do. That's how I want the game to look. This week I spent um, tidying up all the blueprints. You know? You get the clamp for looking up and down. Yeah, that's another thing I did. I made it that um, you can't look above higher than that and you can't look lower than this. Before you could almost do like a complete 360, but I clamped clamp the visual the like the um player camera you can't look higher than this and you can't look lower than that i'll just show you the amount of code it takes to have the um the infantry system working you got your widgets you got three different widgets here here we got you got your component which is this is basically your brains of the um the grids and all that there's a lot of code boys there's a lot of pages here there's a lot of functions, I should say. You know, you got all these functions and each each function has its own bit of code. And it's it's a headache. There's no way I'll be able to figure this out on my own. So I'm, I was happy there was a tutorial for what I wanted. But yeah, and there's, there's a lot of functions that make this, this system work. And there was a time where I didn't have, I think the, the, the true and false, there was one where I didn't have it clicked and it had when I when something was true but it was meant to be false and the whole system didn't work. And there's a like there's a lot of math that goes into it. It's such a headache to try to figure out on your own. So I was lucky I was lucky that there was um a tutorial on how to how it works. You know, it's just pages of pages. Functions of functions of just code just to get it to work, you know? And it's it's not easy to figure out. It's easy to figure out if you know exactly what you want and you know what you're doing. Then, boom, it should be just a cape walk, but just figure out how to do this and how it works. You have to have experience. And it's one thing I don't have. This week, actually, if I can, I'll get a new system in play and I'll try to manipulate that system that works for best for me. Week two of game development, done, boys. I'm happy with the progress so far. I'm going, I'm trying to have no 0% days. I'm always, even if I'm just moving something around, cleaning up the code, making it look better, making it easier, just labeling stuff better, that's good enough for me for that day. It is what it is, you know? That's good enough for me. And I'll see you guys again next time. Latest, boys.